Alright, how's it going everybody and welcome here to a different type of video. So this is a top 10. I haven't done a top 10 in like quite a few years. But anyway, today here I'm doing the top 10, my, my top 10 games of the last decade. So from 2010 to 2019, yeah, of course. Uh, and this is just my opinion. Uh, I'm also going to have another video uh, m maybe uh, in a couple days. Uh, yeah, in a couple days of my top 10 worst games of the decade. Again, those are my opinion. But anyway, so these are my top 10 here. There was a lot of games to pick from that I really enjoyed in the past decade. But these 10, I think, I think are the ones that I really enjoyed. So yeah, let's get right into it. Number 10. So coming in at number 10 is Assassin's Creed Od uh, Origins, sorry, not Odyssey, that's the other one. Odyssey was almost on this list, It was. I was really thinking, like, honestly, I thought to get an Assassin's Creed game in here because I really, really enjoyed Origins. It was so good, I really enjoyed the story here. A lot of people might be shocked that I put it on the top 10, but it was... I just really, I just really enjoyed it. I really liked it here, I enjoyed uh, the series I did right at the end of 2017. Um, where I literally just sat in there for like, like I was in my room for literally like two and a half days just playing the game because it was just so much fun, and yeah I just had a great time playing it like <laughs> like the game just worked perfectly it was in my opinion the best Assassin's Creed game out of all of them here and I thought it's got to be in the top ten so Assassin's Creed Origins sits at number ten. Number nine. Alright, so coming in at number 9 is Halo Reach here, the best Halo in my opinion here. There was that or Halo 3, they were so close here, um, but I went with Reach here because I just think Reach is just a little bit better than Halo 3, but they are really close, uh, both games are really close to my heart in terms of, uh, you know, um, Halo and stuff, so I really did enjoy Halo, um, Halo Reach. It just, the campaign was solid. The multiplayer was good. I loved Forge World. I loved watching. Like I'd spent hours, yeah, like back in what was it, 2010, um, and even 2011 as well, just watching videos of um, like people making like tr race tracks and stuff, or like roller coasters and stuff on Forge World. I I I just love it. And the multiplayer was solid as well. Really really good. Halo Reach coming in at number nine. Number eight. Coming in at num at number eight here is Outlast here. So Outlast, of course, uh, was the it was um, of course the horror game where you know you enter the asylum, Mount Massive Asylum. Here, I love Outlast here. Um, it is absolutely brilliant um, game. Uh, by far my favorite horror game of all time. Um, it was that or Five Nights at Freddy's. And Five Nights at Freddy's almost got onto here. And the reason why Five Nights at Freddy's is not on here, I love Five Nights at Freddy's. Uh, it would the game that would have made it would be uh, Five Nights at Freddy's 4, but unfortunately, I just enjoyed Outlast just a bit more. Like um, Five Nights at Freddy's story will always be you know very close to my heart. Like I really do love that. But in terms of gameplay, Outlast 2 shines above uh, Five Nights at Freddy's in gameplay. Like Outlast 2 again, that was decent, but Outlast. Going into that asylum, you know, Chris Walker, the big guy, he's on my banner, of course, uh, in my channel art banner. He's the one who's sticking up the middle finger. <laughs> uh, then you've got, um, you know, other characters like the Doctor, and um, you've got Billy, of course, right at the end. And it's just, it's just brilliant, you know. Um, it's just a brilliant game. I really do enjoy it. And Outlast comes in at number eight. Number seven. Coming in at number 7 is The Last of Us. Now, the reason why it's this high up on my best list um, is because I have only played it once. I uh, got to play it. I don't own a PlayStation, but I did get to play it. I get to play the remastered um, basically um, back in, what, 20, 2015, I believe it was? No, 2016, sorry. Uh, so a couple years after, you know, the, la the, the Last of Us came out in 2013. The remake, the, the remaster, sorry, came out in 20. Um, 14 a year later and I only got to play it in 2016 but I got to play, I got to sit down here at a friend's house and absolutely play the crap out of that game yeah, I completed it um, and I just loved it, I mean I remember watching Markiplier play it in 2013 but 
just playing it for myself because I've wanted to experience it for myself. If I never got to experience it, it probably wouldn't be on here just because I haven't played it. Like there are a few games that haven't made it onto this list, like Detroit Become Human, for example, because I haven't played it. Um, you know, it's a great game and stuff. And there's loads of others like I haven't made it onto this list because I just haven't played it. Also, like God of War as well. But the Last of Us, when I got to play it, I just really loved it. I like the DLC as well for it. Um, so I played that, and uh, yeah, solid game. The Last of Us is coming in at number seven. Number six. Coming in at number six here is Grand Theft Auto 5 here. So GTA 5, again, it's higher on this list than you would think it would be. Maybe you'd think it'd be more of my top five. But the reason why it's just outside here is because I love the story. The story is absolutely fantastic. The multiplayer is good, it's really good, but I never really got into the multiplayer stuff here. I did like playing like the racing and that, but really I never really got into the multiplayer, so I can't really put it in the top five if I never really got 100% into it. Um, so yeah, uh, but Grand Theft Auto had to be on this list, you know, GTA 5, great game, comes in at number six. Number five. Alright, so now we're into the top five, and coming in at number five is Far Cry 3. Far Cry 3, what a game. Now, this is a game that, as I said, is, as I said, one of my favourites of all time. Best Far Cry game, uh, by far. Uh, the other Far Cry games are alright, but um, it doesn't come close to Far Cry 3. Because um, it's just great. I love the characters. I love Vaz. I, I do like um, the other one as well. I actually forgotten his name. That's, that's not a great one. I've forgotten his name. But the other one, he wasn't as great. I loved who you played as. You know, Jason Brody. Great character here. And all his friends were decent as well. Uh, and just everyone was... Um, every character. I did not hate a single character in that game. I just pretty much loved it. The gunplay, the action was fantastic. There was nothing really in my eyes wrong with Far Cry 3 and that is why it's coming in at number 5. Number 4 Coming in at number 4 is maybe a shock to a lot of people, not to me, it's Black Mesa. Now Black Mesa is actually a remake of Half-Life 1. I love Half-Life. I'm a massive Half-Life fan. I love playing mods and stuff. I have a whole channel dedicated to it on the Battlecraft GG channel. I just play Half-Life mods. I don't put my voice in. It's like no commentary, basically. Um, just because um, I, that, that would be a bit too hard for me to have commentary in as well. So I kind of just play them for myself whilst recording them. And I put them on the Battlecraft GG YouTube channel. I do Half-Life 2 mods. I do Black Mesa mods. And I do Half-Life mods as well. Um, and just... Um, you know, it's, it's 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 so good here. I played it like what two times, and I am going to be doing it as the first old game of this year, Black Mesa playthrough. It is happening. Yeah, I am going to be doing it uh, starting um, next week. Uh, so you'll definitely uh, be able to see that. Um, it's two weeks for me because I'm recording this in advance. But yeah, I'm really excited to play that ga uh, game again. It's been a while since I played it, but Black Mesa is so good. It's just it just reminds you of Half Life One, but it's in better graphics. It's in better. It's I'd say it's better than Half Life One. Um, to the guys that made it, you have done a fantastic job here, and it's definitely if it's only fifteen fifteen pounds on the on the Steam market, so go buy it, please. It's so good, and yeah, just um just go buy it. But Black Mesa is a great game coming in at number four. Number three. Coming in at number 3 is, of course, a Call of Duty game just had to be on here. It's Call of Duty Black Ops 2 here. Now, I actually enjoy Modern Warfare 2 a little bit more than Black Ops 2, but that came out in 2009, so that was the previous decade, so Modern Warfare 2 couldn't be on this list, obviously. But Black Ops 2 is my second favourite Call of Duty. It's got to be on, the, so it had to be on the list in the end here. It's a great game. This campaign is solid. I love the choices you can have. You can change the story. I did every single choice here, and I got every single different type of ending and uh, different type of scenario here because I just played it so many times in the campaign. The missions are so good. I I don't think there's one mission I don't I dislike in that game in Black Ops 2. Um, again, the characters are great here. The multiplayer is solid. The zombies is fantastic. It was a lot better. It was a lot more, you know, step they stepped it up from Black Ops 1. All the like kind of like, issues in Black Ops 1 were taken away in Black Ops 2. I'd probably say Black Ops 3 had the best uh, best zombie experience, but Black Ops 2 was solid, and that is why Black Ops 2 is coming in at number three. Number two. Coming in at number two is 
Overwatch here, of course, as to be here. Nearly 200 videos I've done on the game. I've done like, what, 173 or something like that? Uh, 74. Uh, so I've done a lot of um, Overwatch episodes. I enjoy doing it, just one episode every week here. Uh, Overwatch 2 is, of course, coming out this uh, this year, which I'm very excited for. And when I get to 200 episodes, I'm going to stop playing the normal Overwatch and then continue the series from 201, but on Overwatch 2. So therefore, all the player count is high and, you know, we can have a great time and stuff. I'm very excited for that, but Overwatch was so good. The, I loved most of the heroes. Some of them I disliked, like, uh, just because I can't use them, like Winston and uh, Symmetra. Um, and there was a few others also, like Torbjorn. Um, even though, like, some of their lines are funny, I just can't use them, so therefore I disliked using them. But it's not like I disliked their characters, because a lot of them actually uh, had pretty good characters. Uh, the, uh, you know, the emotes are great. The, um, the gameplay is great. I love the game modes and stuff. The arcade, the competitive is really, really good. It's one of the... Comp it's one of the best competitive games like types of games I've ever played uh, I wish I was better at it so I could become like I, I one of my goals to it, to be in like I'd love to be an esports player and overwatch would be I think a good one because my favorite character is fallout so, uh, so what <laughs> is soldier 76 not fallout 76 that, that's coming up uh, soon a bit of a spoiler uh, in a in the other video uh, but yeah but yeah overwatch solid game love it and it is coming in at number two Number one. Coming in at number one is Minecraft. Of course it has to be. No, it did not come out in 2009. That was the beta in 2009. The actual game came out in 2011 here. Minecraft, absolutely number one. There is no game on this planet that I've spent more time playing. I spent the whole of 2014 pretty much playing Minecraft and a bit of Black Ops 2. But it was Minecraft pretty much. I love Minecraft. Minecraft. I don't think I'll ever dislike the game. I have a huge respect for it. It's absolutely brilliant here. I wish there was a proper esports for it because I definitely could be uh, could be in that because I don't know. I just I I love Minecraft. I play Bedrock and Java Edition, both editions here. I love playing both of them. I play Java on PC and then Bedrock on Xbox. Um, and yeah, Minecraft is just a solid solid game. Best game of my opinion, in my opinion, of the last decade here yeah, and um yeah it's just I, I i love it i think it's i think i've got like at least five thousand six thousand hours just all together playing minecraft on all systems so yeah I've, I've i've spent a lot of time playing minecraft but yeah that anyway guys is my top 10 here if you enjoyed make sure to leave a like if you disagreed with any of these uh which i'm sure there was a few that you probably did uh or you did agree if there's any other games that you thought that should have made this list um you know or maybe you could put your top tens in the comment section but yeah that is my top 10 so thank you guys so much for watching if you've enjoyed make sure to like the video yeah i'll see you in the next video bye